Hi, welcome to Bookie. Today we will unlock the book Evolutionary Psychology, The New Science of the Mind for You. Evolutionary psychology suggests that in the course of human evolution, our ancestors often encountered difficulties related to survival or reproduction. These challenges are called adaptive problems. To solve these problems, we have slowly evolved a unique set of psychological mechanisms that help us better adapt to our environment. For example, we have a strong taste preference for fat. Evolutionary psychology explains this by stating that this preference has adaptive value in evolutionary history and was more conducive to the survival of primitive humans. This is because fat was a valuable, calorie-rich, and scarce resource in that environment. This is what the book Evolutionary Psychology emphasizes. Humans have slowly evolved a series of psychological mechanisms over the course of evolution to help us solve problems and thus better adapt to our environment. But in the case of fat preference, evolutionary psychologists remind us that the mechanisms that have been able to successfully solve problems in evolutionary history don't necessarily help us solve problems in our modern environment. Today, for example, a taste preference for fat can make us overweight and even bring us various diseases. As a landmark work in evolutionary psychology, this book sheds light on how adaptive problems in evolution affect our psychological mechanisms and the critical features of the psychological mechanisms formed by evolution. The author David M. Buss is a leading figure in evolutionary psychology. After receiving his Ph.D. from the University of California at Berkeley in 1981, he spent four years as an assistant professor at Harvard University. He then moved to the University of Michigan where he taught for 11 years as a professor before accepting his current position as professor of psychology at the University of Texas. For many years, he has focused on evolutionary psychology, and his primary research interests include mating strategies, conflict between the sexes, prestige, status and social reputation, jealousy and aggression, and so forth. With his years of research on evolutionary psychology, he combines evolutionary psychology with biology, psychology, genetics and sociology, thus making us realize that some of our psychological mechanisms and behavioral preferences today are inextricably linked to the environment in which we live. In this bookie, we will talk about the psychological mechanisms humans have developed to adapt to the environment in the following four parts. Part 1 Evolved Psychological Mechanisms for Dealing with Survival Problems Part 2 Evolved Psychological Mechanisms for Dealing with Mate Selection Part 3 Evolved Psychological Mechanisms for Dealing with Family Problems Part 4 Evolved Psychological Mechanisms for Dealing with Problems of Group Living Let's start with the first part and see what psychological mechanisms humans have developed in response to survival problems. When talking about evolution, we have to mention Charles Darwin the author of On the Origin of Species, which we have explored in the book e Why Evolution is True. According to his theory, an organism can survive for many years but not necessarily pass on its inherited qualities to future generations. If an organism has more offspring than others, its characteristics get passed down to future generations at a relatively higher frequency. Therefore, Reproduction is necessary for survival. At the same time, survival is also a prerequisite for reproduction, because to reproduce, organisms must survive. For humans, throughout our long evolutionary history, harsh natural conditions of all kinds threatened our survival, such as extremes of the climate, food shortages, toxins, diseases, and so forth. We can say that survival problems are the most challenging in human evolution, which affect the mechanisms of the body and mind in three aspects. The first is the effect on food selection. It is not hard to imagine that living organisms cannot survive without food and water. Of course, this crisis may not be noticeable, because in modern society, if we are hungry, we can go to a restaurant, a supermarket, or order takeaway. But in primitive times, it was a different story because our ancestors spent most of their day in a very hostile living in 